So I'm not Latino, but I grew up poor. I was actually lucky that my mom tried her best to keep us from being super aware of this fact. Um, we got free lunch, and sometimes she pretended she'd already eaten um, so that we could eat. And our house was infested with cockroaches, uh, which was really gross, and I didn't have enough heating to keep warm in a winter, and I could never go on any field trip that cost money. But even so, I don't think I felt like less than other people. Now that I think about it, saying all of that made me realize that I was just a pretty innocent, blinders-on kind of kid, regardless of what my mom did to hide our situation. The house on Mango Street had a narrator who was dealing with a lot of these same issues. The narrator's life is beautiful. Um, it's sad, it's hopeful, frustrating, but ultimately it's validating in its answers. It helped me sort out how to think about my own life and inspired my own reflections on my home as part of who I am.